uh, Elder Gabaret, the area president, asked us to teach of teacher council meetings. And so I prepared to do so. And I have found that his perception and his vision was particularly inspired. As we have talked about teacher council meetings in Puerto Rico and here in the Dominican Republic, and I've seen that with COVID, there was a little bit of relaxing on that, and it's time to stand up and, and resurrect this effort of, of improving teaching in the church. Uh, I've, I've been grateful for that, and that will change the way I look at teaching teacher council meetings going forward. Something else that has been impressed upon me is teacher council meetings for parents, that if we're saying that it is centered in the home and supported in the church, and we're only teaching and trying to improve teaching in the church, that's a huge mistake because we need to be supporting and teaching and encouraging better teaching in the home. And those are teacher council meetings for parents. So going forward, when people say, how do we do it? I'm gonna say this, get a calendar. Look at your whole calendar and you have four quarters, figure out what Sundays you're gonna have teacher council meetings, figure out what Sundays you wanna have teacher council meetings for parents, plan it for the four quarters of the year, take it to ward council, get their approval, and then start working on what you want to teach in these various times. And I think we can do great things to bless the church with that simple additional level of organization which I had never considered before. I had never thought about how to actually do it. Before, it was more talking about, well, we need to do this. And now, when I've been here, it's been, good brother, it's not good enough to say, well, this is what we ought to do. It's how do we actually do it? And I think we start with a year calendar and we look at it. And maybe it ought to be in paper so we can see it all at the same time. That's just my thought. Anyway.